after show. Did after it. show. <laughs> We're gonna make this a real quick after show because everyone went like very over, very gratefully. Everyone agreed to that, so thank you very much to everyone. Um, right, after show. I guess I guess I get to play after show music. There's, there's too there's too many questions for the time. I have questions. Yeah, I have so many questions just as a player that I know that I'll just e I'll DM D E like, wait, what about this? And then what about this also? And also this. Yeah, in the middle of the night, we're going to be bothering EE for a very long time now. So thanks for that. Oh, yeah. What about what happened first loop? What did the creature do to Winter Bear and, and his team on that first time? Oh, it just jumped into Winter Bear and then had Winter Bear just start killing everyone. Okay. Mm. I thought it might be that it's simple. But yeah. Yeah, what, what, it's what like is half, it? What half was it died before it was in Winter Bear? Was the golden record just like blah, yeah? Blah, 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 yeah, like literally the golden record. And as Winter Bear went up to it, it just went. You literally <laughs> just splatted on his face or whatever. Yeah, straight into him. Neat. And it had already got effectively. It wasn't sphere because it's not magic. It's a spirit, but it had life and mind from the records on the disc, which understood, uh, and so it could integrate into him in his body. Um, and then just proceeded to just go around and be like, right, I need to dissect things and understand people. Ooh, there's a 40 year time difference, 50 year time difference. Did you expect we were going to survive then? I thought it was 50 50. There were several moments where I didn't expect we would survive. Oh, I thought we were dead right from the beginning. Like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, the start moment, episode 12. The moment the, 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 I mean, well, there were a few moments in the prep where I was like, we're, we're just going to die. Like the part where Thresher's <laughs> dying of poison and both of us are being completely useless. I'm like, this is, if this is what we're like when there's literally nothing bad happening to us, then we've got no chance when he actually shows up. Yeah, like the entity had effectively the mind of both, to an extent, Thresher and Hackett. And so it wasn't going to come at you head on. Like, they had the four manipulation from Thresher, so it was definitely not going to come at you head on. So it respawned in Marcus, and it was Marcus that entire loop. First of Did all, it went to Rosalini's. Couldn't get into Rosalini's house, but Rosalini had to leave. Um, and it then effectively set up, like, an idea of, like, right, I can just drive a ice cream truck, pretend to be Marcus, and then, like, get you to eat ice cream or something, and then see what happens. Is it because we tried to detect and we didn't detect it? God damn it. It had a spell in itself to try and reduce uh, any chance of that. If you'd rolled, I think it was four or five successes, you would have detected it. There was, a, there was a moment where I was like, this is the, the, the spirit's responsible for this, which was the moment you described that Marcus had like 20 pens in his pocket and one on his ear. And I'm like, that's exactly what the spirit would do. It would totally <laughs> do that. I don't see a reason why anything else would do it. But then nobody saw a spirit. So I'm like, I guess not. It could I did have sent say him. it was like it was really messed up. You're not sure like something's been going on here, but like doesn't seem to be a spirit. <laughs> that was like, yeah, that's because the spirit's so powerful. The energy's leaking out of it. It can't mask that. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I should have been like Dr. the pens. Fates... It's the pen. <laughs> did Doctor Fates do this? Who did I this? Leave that up to people to conject. <sighs> I think <sighs> I think he just like manipulated it so that something would happen in Webley while he was gone. I don't think he tried to make that happen. I think he was like, let's weave fate so that a, if a bad thing happens, it happens to Thresher, and then we'll see how she fares. What a jerk! Was Winterbear one of the? Sorry, go ahead. Ah, that's not, it's good. Was Winterbear one of the names given by the community? Yep. Hence so he, why I decided, sod it, there's four bears. <laughs> I swear, I thought it was just a fancy British kind of name. Like, it's Winter Bear, but apparently it was <laughs> yeah, a code Winter name Bear. the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, my second cousin Monsieur is Winter named Bear? Winter Bear, but, you know, that's a different <laughs> thing, so. Uh, yeah, once I, once the, for, the reason why I took so long to come up with a name for, for Hassan is because the, the name was Winter Bear, and I'm like, what is as ridiculous as that? <laughs> it's why they sounded like candy bars and one of them was literally moonlight when he's <laughs> dating a werewolf you know mm. unsubtle oh, uh, what was I, I often like asking this question to everyone um, at the end of you know a session or something what was your favorite part of playing your character what was the best, not the best moment, but like the best sort of inkling or, or 
what is the way you know the differentiation from yourself from the character what what was it what was the thing that made you excited to play that part over and over again surprisingly Aspects. i'm not a bloodthirsty person um, no. i know people think that <laughs> I, um incidentally i'm so glad you got rid of bloodthirsty because if you came into that final loop with no willpower you mm -hmm. just killed everyone and that'd be like oh I shit, know. this is a real loop i'm really glad that i had <laughs> i had that uh, heart to heart with Hassan and then undid the spell in my brain i think that made the last fight uh m less challenging so mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like for I, I have not really ever played like a a dislikable character in the past and so i i actually kind of liked the challenge of playing someone who is kind of an asshole <laughs> like it's just it's different um not trying to be like when you're not helpful all the time so i don't know i guess with dr thresher it was just so different than what i'd normally do that it just feel it felt like exciting to play something so different and murderous just a little just a little hint of murder in there that's so sweet I know. <laughs> Funnily enough, Hackett still doesn't know that Thresh is free of the spell. Like he, he worked, yeah, he worked it out like two loops back. Finally, just before the end, it was like, oh, this, this has been done to her by fate, Jesus. And then, <laughs> like, I can't. Where, where, where was he? Oh yeah, no, he was in a wall. I think when the spell was broken, uh, and then it never got brought up afterwards. And like, he observed that Thresh had didn't try and kill anyone so much and was was very competent but like probably doesn't have quite enough to put it together yeah just kind of like we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll let Hackett figure it out <laughs> I mean like there was the bit about the picnic and Hackett's like wow this getting out of the loop has, has really really helped out her mental state this is great <laughs> but then he got captured like, by the no technocracy I'm, I'm presuming that he arrived in one of the cars like in a in a straight jacket on a porter's trolley so Oh. Man, that's Yeah, you were in the back of one of the cars, but like fully trussed up. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, yeah, you should really give me my gear so I can help out here. Consider what I sacrificed okay, coming to you in morning. the first place. And they're like, screw you, shut up. <laughs> but I think for playing Hackett, I mean, I love I love a good puzzle. I love taking one apart. It was a nice, it's a big, meaty puzzle to, to sink my teeth into. That was great. That was a big also, puzzle. I love the visuals of Hackett and creating them. So, like, I like, I like twirling the stash. I did uh, love that your position in the final battle was like a bit of support, and then just holding onto the entity and punching. Yeah, no, that's what I realized. Is like there was there was a moment where you were like, where it's like, okay, you're out of willpower. You've got a minus two on everything apart from physical rolls, and I'm like, oh, I know what I have to do. And I just look over at my character where it's five strength, one brawl, three melee, and I'm like, this is what I was made for. Jobs again. <laughs> but some, sometimes, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, it always comes up in Mage. Sometimes magic is the worst thing you can use against someone with magic, and the best thing you can use is pure brute force. So you shoot them, you hit them with sticks, you punch them in the face, just anything that doesn't involve magic, because Taysom. they have direct counters to magic, and they don't have direct counters to a fist. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the NCT did have a direct counter with the sword. Well, I mean, yeah, but I, but I was better. <laughs> yeah, if if it hit you with a sword, you'd have probably just died straight up, because that thing would have been three damage plus net successes, plus then a four, uh, uh, a matter roll with. The plus net success from the blade like it would have probably just done enough damage to kill you but it never hit you because every time you punched better than it yeah he took our minds and he took our magic and the one thing he didn't take was our bodies because the one thing he's tied to is the body of winter bear or i guess the body of marcus it's hard to say kind of what level of each was involved because like the save point is technically winter bear winter bear has been turned into uh, the entity. So technically, whenever he was changing bodies, the body was trying to turn into Winter Bear, but the entity was emerging. Yeah, yeah because way... the save points attached to Winter Bear's soul, and he was effectively taking everyone's spirits as they died. Mm. He could kind of collect that. Um, yeah. It's also why he knew about the spell that was on Thresher. Mm, yeah. yeah. Either, oh, Katie, either way... you okay there? 
No, I was just itching my eye, but I was just thinking about like, man, <laughs> it's all of it. Like when you when you sit down, like think of all the layers of everything. It's just, in how did you keep track of all of this? I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah. I don't no, actually, I have a table, but I do have yeah. a table. Oh. Maybe it's you need to start a spreadsheet, mate. Yeah, I have a document <laughs> that has character lines in it. I did originally put them in a spreadsheet, but needed them in Word so I could see the full lines. Um, yeah. With, with the amount mm. of like layers and factors in play, I was, like there was a moment where I was I was talking about Mage on stream, and then someone linked the clip of the end of last episode with me, you know, torturing Keaton, and I was thinking like I can't even explain this to people. I'm not even going to tell them to watch the <laughs> clip because they're not going <laughs> to understand what's going on at all. <laughs> It's not gonna make any sense. That's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to build up slowly layers on layers that you would understand, but by the end you'd be like, how did we get to this stage? Yeah, at the end Like I'm... you had Thresher coming back in certain ways, but also in certain ways being like, I guess sacrifice Mindy may be necessary, but you don't have to be callous about it. You'd hack it, now torturing people. Hmm. You'd Hassan work in the technocracy. That's just, I just, I was just nicer. That's all that happened to me. Hmm. Just a little nicer. And less murderous. It's just, it's just a shame that, that Fenneth Black wasn't the one actually in charge, because he seemed like an actual reasonable dude some of the time. Fenneth Black's actual uh, rank is effectively just senior agent. But he's mm -hmm. just senior by... He's been an agent longer than the rest yeah. of them who were left after that first night. He was, he's the dude who presses the button. Like, he's the dude who yeah. presses the button is not, like, usually the no. one in charge. Someone usually said, I'll go over there and press that button for me. And then everything reset, and now no one tells him, so he just presses it himself and is in charge. Exactly. Which is pretty badass if you think about it. What a way to get a job, huh? And that night he didn't go to the actual place. He was the one uh, left with the machine and everyone else at the machine. So, like, all the people who were actually tasked with containing the thing that arrived died before even the first loop, technically. Not everyone. Uh, there was still, I think, the three cars were left after that night, who were the re response cars. Okay. I mean, Keaton would have gone, and Keaton survived. Yeah. Well, like, Please, you have a favorite well, character. If he was the actual head of security, he could have been, like, the head of base security, and we wouldn't know, because he would just become the head of security on subsequent loops. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, people have asked what the music is. Uh, the Entity really learn mostly about human emotion through the music on the disc. And so, because the Entity is actually not in the body, it's just acting through the body, it actually pervades reality, hmm. and it's stuck inside the loop because of that. That's how it express you, you feel and understand its emotion. It just expresses yeah. it through that. It took me a while to really twig on it. But you said, it, like, there were a few different times we heard from various people, like, the spirit is huge, and eventually I'm like, oh, I, it was the moment that uh, Hassan watched somebody die and their spirit just diffused, and I was like, right, oh, oh it's, it doesn't need to go anywhere or cast anything on anyone. It is Webley. We're in it. We're in the spirit right now, and the music's just coming from it, and when someone dies, they just kind of are already in this giant spirit now. And the spirit exists in 4D, like it exists in time as well. And that's why, like, it doesn't have a problem with just like, oh, I kill, so I take someone's soul, they never existed or whatever. It just exists in the bubble in all dimensions. Just mm. can't get out of the bubble though. Yeah, it's like, so the, like, it was up against the walls, basically, I imagine. Like, it, I wonder if, maybe I should go back and watch the scene, but like, if you get far enough through the edge of like the, the paradox barrier, does the music cut out? Yeah. Like, if you'd have gone like fully through the barrier, you probably would have started to suffer some real headaches, but like the music would have cut out. Yeah, and, and like in, in like the six paradox or eight paradox die region, the music stops because like at that point it's up, it's just pressed up against this wall. But yeah. it doesn't pass it. Oh, someone asked if the players have any quit yeah. Hassan has one quintessence still left. I have got that one he has still not spent. Too. Because, like, I, I rapidly lost my ability to cast things. No, everyone make disassociation rolls. Oh, Christ. D do we need quinte uh, Does it count quintessence? So we ro roll. Uh, it, it ignores quintessence like it would ignore an empty space. It, it should roll, like, fine. Okay. Reality one. Reality I, I one, two. All my quintessence. 
Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, 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 I was hoping Hackett would fail. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I was like this. We're, we're losing him. He's, <laughs> he's going to go mad. It's like, I when mean... quiet too, he might just stay at home. It's like, I just never will never change. I live in my house. Nothing will ever happen. Thresher's quiet too. Thresher's been quiet too for like every episode, but episode two. Episode yeah. one I and two. I imagine a quiet two static mage will just stop, will never allow a life change to occur. At that very point. slow to act, very like slow to actually take new responses to things. Yeah. yeah he, no, he'd just endlessly be researching, uh, looking for true ether in his house forever. Yeah. You were saying, Katie? I don't remember. <laughs> Um, Sorry. <laughs> what what was it like playing Hassan? Because I don't think I don't think you answered yet. That's true. I, yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about playing Hassan. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I can flirt with people um, as a human being, and I've done that a couple times in my life. But I'm not Hassan's. Okay, I do not have a partner right now currently, uh, but I also. Don't express my intense physical lust for a person on a consistent basis the way Hassan does. <laughs> Hassan's not just horny. He's horny and proud, <laughs> which is fun. It's a lot of fun to play. Like, don't get me wrong. It's been an absolute joy. It's my favorite part of playing him, but it's not me whatsoever. <laughs> I mostly flirt with people I'm really, really comfortable with, which kind of negates the point. Um, other than that... It was intriguing trying to like build my knowledge as a player and try and express that through Hassan without it seeming meta and at the same time expressing Hassan's knowledge that I did not have without it seeming forced. Like that was a struggle, but a fun one. I don't, I okay. Don't this, yeah. What was everyone's favorite thing that another character did? Ooh. Oh Maybe for the, both the other characters, since there's only three. Like... What your two favorite things one of each each of the other characters did? For, for me, Hackett's punching of the entity in the air or uh, the taxi driving <laughs> um, <laughs> and trying to be all polite with a gun on the head of the taxi driver. I did enjoy that. Oh, bless Man, you. Man, I just feel like both of those had... They're so different than Hackett episode one. <laughs> like... Yeah. So, um, honestly, Hassan <laughs> meeting Lyle today was kind of amazing. <laughs> so, I gotta say, I think that was my favorite. Because in a way, it's kind of like a happy ending in a lot of ways. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> um... I regret it immediately as I said that. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah, that I think that. Um, I, but I also appreciated... Uh, <laughs> Hassan and I having our, uh, like, always encouraging Thresher to be better. That was cool, too. <laughs> I'm glad. I was afraid it was going to get preachy. <laughs> I, I just loved everything about the whole situation of, of Hassan and Thresher, like, trying to defeat Fates, the little mini-boss fight in, in in the game where, like, basically the, just the, the two of them putting all their mental resources to, to, resources to being like, we gotta break this spell. And, like, get you out of this so we can, like, we can do this. And, like, just all Hassan's attempts and all Thresher's, like, uh, responses and the whole, like, argument resulting in them trying to kill each other. <laughs> so it's it's a combined, it's a team the effort. They both contributed to the, to the, like, each other's great moments, I think. That, that was that was a great that was a great dynamic to see, and then I got to be like, oh god, what's going on over there? No, stop! This isn't the time. You're like the parent trying to break up the two kids who are fighting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Except there's death involved. Very yeah. static mage. It's like stop killing each other. There's a ghost here. Oh, it's Rosalini. I mean, there's a mountain of things I could say I loved about Hackett. Um, I love the fight, the big fight between it and the entity. Like that was badass. I love, you know, Hackett, some of Hackett's torture scenes were so, honestly, like, fantastic because of just the way, nah, I'm going to explain everything. You don't need to torture me. I'm good. I'm good. Or, I'm so strong. Like, the, the way you deferred between those two were like, but my favorite, my favorite, 
has to be that that scene right in the beginning, the very first day, not even the first loop, loop zero, where you, you and Thresher were hanging out with Marcus and you were undercutting Marcus's, <laughs> Marcus's moves every step of the way. It was, was impressive. Hilarious. It was so good. Um, Katie's... Okay, one of my favorites, this is like a, a bonus mention. Obviously, it's going to be the moment you killed Chester. Uh, because, dear God. But, actually, uh, I think it was at episode two. I know I'm using the earlier points, but still. Those are great episodes. You should watch them. But episode two, where you were like, I'm actually going to help Florence. I'm actually going to help Florence. Mm. The way... Like at that point is really when you see the real Thresher kind of like beyond all the the tricking work through and her desperate need to feel connection. Like that was really, really good. And uh EE, I love the I love the technocracy scenes. Every single one of them, um, involving Feneth Black, not Winter Bear. They were <laughs> were the torture scenes were really well done and really well warned. They were super fun to play in. Uh, that scene when you gathered everyone around together, it was Elin and Hackett and Thresher. It was just super fun to watch. Like, super fun to watch. You have at it. I mean, there's a lot of great things that everyone here has done. I wish I could name them all. I'd be here for 12 episodes. But those are my some of my highlights. question how is mm. rosalina getting the, the ghost from the hospital <laughs> what was what was the method i never worked it out how do you mean they were weren't they going to the hospital to harvest spirits or or something what, yep. what were they there for but well, when people die their spirits happen yeah but you said it wasn't that it depends on which context but I was like, oh, they're just harvesting the spirits of people that die. And you're like, ah, nobody's dying, though. So I'm like, okay, they're taking it from comatose. And he said no to that. So I'm like, what were they getting? It from? No, 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 they're going there to harvest spirits from dying people. Oh, they're starting. And then dead. no one's dying. Oh, right. Yeah, that's easy then. I was like, what's yeah. the. I was, there's some grand mystery here. Like, she's getting spirits, but not from anyone dying or. Okay, she's going fancy. there to do it, but she's not actually right. yeah, getting that's any. That's, that's why she's like, like, I knew it would be something weird, weird like that. I was like, it's gotta, it, the, it's gotta be. I don't know. Okay, I'm the spirits she had access to were spirits she already had bound and were bound and were already on this side. That's the only spirit she had access to because everyone else who passed hmm. then got an, eaten by the entity. So she had only access to a certain amount of spirits and that's why she was loath to help you. Because if she helped, the entity could possibly just eat them. She didn't know. And if she tried to pull any more or do anything that involved sending people through, the entity would probably be able to eat them. So she was kind of like, I can only help you so much. Yeah. EE, -E, uh, what were your favorite things that our three PCs did? Uh, the problem is like, everything from like episode two and three is like, wait, what happened then? Um, but yeah, like the whole actually helping Florence thing where Thresher kind of realizes, oh, I can do this over again. Maybe I'll actually help someone. All the way to the beautiful, like, penultimate episode breaking Fates' spell. That was complete luck, but the build-up to it was beautiful, and then you perfectly rolled, and it was so, like, it was kismet, mm. right? It is definitely kismet. I just yeah. made it perfect. And then at the end, being like, ah, oh, Rosalini killing Mindy to do the thing. I mean, I can see the yes, but I can also be like, no, I feel that's too, like, lack of compassion. Mm. She was almost awakened. I know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, she could have been such a great mage. She, she was and doing that's better why than she Marcus. was a good sacrifice. She was doing better than Marcus at becoming a bloody mage. And that's why she was kept around. Uh, she wasn't really a good secretary. Some people don't don't have the opportunity to ever become mages. It's not for everyone. Great organizational skills. Could have been a great mage. Was Has a, a nice good amount of blood in her. <laughs> was a nice person. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like, genuinely, blood. if you want to know, like Rosalini, as you like try and comfort her, Rosalini would kind of be like, you'd be see a little bit of surprise and a little bit of like, fair enough. Like, oh yeah, I guess that's a thing you can do. Yeah. Okay. Would like, you she wouldn't begrudge you. 
would you explain more about Rosalini or is that going to be an under the like a secret you want to keep as a GM for a bit? I mean, I think that's a secret that has to be kept in case there is any follow up. But like there is plenty of information now, especially that last scene out there. Um, and a lot of people have guessed it. So, What about your favorite scene with ha uh, your favorite um, hack it, sm hack it moments? Hackett Smacks. Um, Hackett Smacks. Everything involving Sheet Beb was great. Uh, the whole fight with the entity was also a lot of fun. Um, I did really love some the, of the earthbending battle. That was great. Yeah, some of and the early stuff. you know stuff, why I was so into earthbending. Some of the early stuff uh, with like all the incidents with Florence and like the talking to Florence and then suddenly replacing Florence was just... A fantastic like build upon several small events. I'm going to kill Thresher. Yep. Oh well, yeah, you're uh, really mad. And then also the whole like <laughs> flipping the board over and being like Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> He's that just a sweet man. Yep. That murders people sometimes. It's not. It's not a big deal. The stuff with uh, Hassan, like some of the early stuff with Chester, was quite good. Some of the stuff with the back and forth of the technocracy, and then you actually kind of coming to respect and work with them a little bit. That was a lot of fun to build up. Mm. And like, there were a lot of like little things about how you supported Thresher through that and how you also played off ha Hackett, which I think like very much understated because of Hackett's like being very stoic, but like the little build ups. And then the insane response of smack with the cane and break Thresher and then be like, oh crap, what have I done? There's a lot of good stuff. It also was Lyle, it. everything about Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you two, everything about Lyle was amazing. It was also a pleasure to to die by suicide from you. Excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I'll, we'll probably have to come this to a close. We're horrendously over. Again, thank you much to the cast for uh, allowing that. Like, it was necessary. Uh, what was the story? Fate of Malkavian Lady. Um, she was fine. If you'd have gone out today, you'd have seen her in the nighttime, obviously, pushing a shopping cart around, just collecting stuff. One thing from each person who no longer existed, just trying to collect whatever remained of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. She was just like, all right, this is weird. Something's going on. I swear there was more people. Um, but like, no, she no doesn't have a true understanding of what was going on. She just had the fractured whisper network and the looking through a broken glass at the actual reality. So she had like this kind of weird contorted view of what was going on. She didn't actually know. Mm -hmm. She just could kind of see bits of it. Just going through the questions. What is Rosalini? Can't say that yet, mate. What is Fates' deal? Can't say that yet. Will someone help Florence with her coming out? I'm assuming that if Hackett survives, maybe. And if Hackett's amenable to Hassan talking to her, probably. Because he understands that more than most. You might um, actually get back to Thresher. Thresher might take her to the new practice if there is one. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, Hackett could give a recommendation or hand out my cards. <laughs> You did cancel on her though today. I did, but I got a new business I'm starting. <laughs> That's uh, what you think. I don't know if the business is actually gonna take fine. off. I I it think might die. I think it will. I'm I'm actually really glad that Thresh is deciding I'm starting a new life here in Webley, a place no one has ever heard of. <laughs> I'm a big fish in a small pond now. Uh what is quintessence here? Hassan kept quint Oh, does quintessence carry through loops? Yes, it does. Um, I don't know about actually that's an interesting. So I consecrated that debt thing, the 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 debt board. Does that come with me? You didn't invest quintessence into it, so no. There's your answer. Uh, it's a maintained spell. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, some maintained spells do pass through loops. I'd have to think about it. Does, I mean, it's does my, probably... Does my strong pass through the loop? Am I still... Probably not. That only lasted for the scene, I believe. No, I, I quintessenced it. Oh, did you quintessence it? Yeah. Yeah, you were extra strong still. Nice. And we're extra resolving. 
The plan was to give me an extra buff. I was also going to buff either dex or stamina. Probably stamina, but I uh, ran out of, uh, of time. And Bear in mind that you will now show up on all prime and life senses of... Oh, hello! <laughs> strong man. Assuming life everything strong. going on well without it. What would have happened had there been another loop after removing the spell and them not taking the quintessence? We probably wouldn't have been able to defeat it had we not taken the quintessence. Some of those rolls were a bit too close. If you had looped and you'd have defeated it, it would have crash landed again and got out and it wouldn't have any of the stuff in it. So it would probably try and replay the same events. Um, yeah. yeah, it would it would kill Winterbear again. If Winterbear sh showed up. The good news it is depends. that then before it could become super powerful, the quarantine would fail. And then like he'd get one one free loop to, to do shenanigans and then from then on, he'd be exposed to the rest of the world, and powerful enough mages might be able to learn quickly enough that Winterbear's been compromised and needs to be stopped. Like, this uh, possibly, this world wasn't potentially like a world-ending thing. Like, potentially it could have been dealt with afterwards by someone else, but there'd probably be a lot more havoc. If allowed to gain, at, like, basically, if we'd failed, it would have been worst-case scenario, like, from how the thing could have been dealt with from the beginning. Because the fact that it was put in a, in a quarantine, but then was given absolute free reign of that quarantine, is the worst thing you can do. It can, it just eats everything in the space, and then the quarantine falls, and now you have something with all the power that was contained in the quarantine loose in the rest of the world. Harder to deal with. Maybe someone powerful enough still could, but it's way worse than if, like, there'd never been a quarantine. It would have been Fenneth in Winterbear, and then Fenneth would have been like, Base, Winter Bear is compromised, and then they would have sent in like you know the nuclear option people. They would have sent in like mm. five in multiple sphere people to just blow everything up. If... Or maybe just actually nuked Webley, like you know, they, they, they would have had a thousand ways to deal with it that way. I mean, at this point, like you got to remember that the technocracy is taking down an antediluvian, yeah, right? No, and they, they got the resources with and... help, but yes, yeah. yeah. But even in like werewolf lore, taking down a big spirit is a thing that takes a lot of sacrifice, but it can happen, yeah. right? So it's not impossible or even improbable. The problem is it was allowed to fatten up, so to speak. Mm. Uh, if Hakan Hassan got powerful enough with spirit and life, could they bring Mindy back to life? Yeah, but it would cost a lot of paradox and be really against the sun's paradigm. And then normally like big consequences for bringing someone back, it would be difficult. It would be very mm -hmm. difficult. But mages can do everything, pretty much. Like, Hackett wouldn't shy of, like, cancelling have... godlike stuff, like, trying to undo a curse on a vampire would be down to GM fiat. It comes with the, ca the caveat that, like, the curse on vampires is a god-given curse in general, and that means that it is, like, almost impossible to get rid of. Um, you could suppress it or something, but actually removing it does not matter. But in general, otherwise, yeah, it mages can do pretty much anything. Hackett will be okay with doing it. <laughs> like he'd be like, yeah, sure. Shouldn't have had to die, so can undo yeah. that. Uh, why took so long to pl take time or prime? Experience points. Experience, and it would kind of be boring to just also, get time. Yeah, like I could have put all of my points into time the moment we started, and I'd be two time by now, and on my way to three. But that would yeah. probably ruin it. That it. You know. Yeah, two time wouldn't really ruin it. Two, I mean, you'd yeah, need to really be a lot harder. Enough. And even then, you'd be counterspelling this device, which had a lot of stuff going on and power, etc. Blah blah blah. Mm. Yeah. I do not have a point of spirit, by the way. As some people won't know, but Hackett did pick up a point. It didn't matter in the end, but the idea was that if uh, if it had come to a magic fight, it would have been like, "I'm gonna do a matter," and he'd be like, "I'm gonna do a matter." So you can't lock onto me. I'm a I'm a spirit matter, and I'm like, I have spirit now. And then I lock onto him and I do the thing I couldn't do in the previous fight. It's like, I learned. I just read the book non-stop for, like, all the time in between. Yep. till I worked out how to mess with spirits because screw you. And then I would start the PCs working try his to gold and doing weird stuff with it and trying to bash on him. On Rosalini for killing Mindy. You know, I I think it's understandable. Why not? Mar no, it, Hassan already hates Rosalini. The fact is, if Hassan and Lyle had been there when that happened, things would be different. Oh, she moved to the other end of the uh, field because Lyle came. If Lyle was close enough, Lyle would probably smell the death taint on her and would probably have frenzied. It would have been a frenzy check and it would have got complicated. 
You Ooh, would have had a, maybe a Dead Lyle or a Dead Lorazlini. Yorick Park 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite possible that if we ever continue again, that's what, one of the points we pick up on is Rosalini. So I feel like we shouldn't spoil too much. But needless to say, Hassan's not a fan of killing innocents, um, regardless of what he's done in the past. I don't think anyone else is either. What was Thresh's take on it? Ooh, Thresher. I don't know, really. I feel like I have to sort through everything to see how I feel about it. Because I feel like there's just, like we just mentioned all these favorite moments. There's so many, like, so many layers built into it that I'll try to post a, an essay in Discord <laughs> so everybody can get the full, the full deal. Oh. Okay. I don't know. All of this just was so good. And I and I I love walking away with so many questions, but I also want all the answers, but I feel like that just leaves me wanting I mean, more. I, I guess I can tell you some stuff about Rosalini that people have already worked out and is quite widely available uh, lore. The fun yeah. thing about it, but before you say it, is that many times over the past few, like month at this point, I have seen comments in like Discord and Twitch chat and just all over the place people saying, Oh, of course, Rosalini. It all makes sense now. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what are they talking me. about? No idea. Okay. And so many people way. kept saying, oh, of course, Rosalini. How did I not think of the name before? <laughs> and they the never name. said what it meant. And I'm like, good, because Hackett doesn't know. It's great. Yeah. And it's just funny to me that so many people had the revelation. And I just every time I'm like, still didn't say what it is. Still don't know. Brilliant. Love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, it, it took me till like <clears throat> last week to, to remember that Rosalini was I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure E will cover it, but I will say this, that last moment, that what you described to me was a visible oblivion ritual. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, so I know exactly what, I, I have a very, very, very good idea of what Rosalini is. My best guess is vampire, but I still don't know. No. But she can't be out during the day. Yeah, so cool. vampires can. Nope. A little bit more esoteric. Rosalini is a family of revenants. Ah. Revenants are ghouls that are bred over and over again until you make effectively... They're human, like ghouls, but they generate their own uh, vitae, their own, like, blood that they can use to power low-level abilities. Um, They Mm -hmm. aren't quite as powerful as vampires in many cases, but they aren't dead. They're perfectly human, can walk around like during the day. They're almost perfectly normal to all senses, but they do have access to some vampire abilities. Um, and she was of the Rosalini family. So Oblivion is one of the many disciplines. She has many... access to yep. Oblivion, uh, Fortitude, and Dominate as native disciplines, plus Anything else she may may have picked up, which is difficult for a revenant, it's possible. Yeah, dominate right because of the, the fa- she would have wait dominate. So she's before the family gathering or after? Because now isn't it all specs now? Um, unless they unless you choose it at character I creation. Yeah, can't remember what Rosalind have afterwards. I don't think revenants are actually in the Hakata book, um, so it not. might be altered. But mm. um, so yeah, she would have resistance to mental effects, possibly through fortitude, definitely through dominate. Um, she'd be extra tough through fortitude, potentially. And through oblivion, she can do lots of stuff with spirits. And the Rosalini family were very famous for their very cruel and servitudinal, servitude-based um, relationship with spirits. Yeah, they're, not, they're domination of spirits to use as servants. That's how she was uh, avoiding time, by the way. When thing resets, uh, she was effectively using the connection with the spirit world uh, to try and mitigate the effect of the bubble. Once she knew about it. Yeah. Really high. Um, yeah, as soon as she knew, she could put that in place. But she would need to know to be able to do that. Mm. So as soon as you made her aware. I just... Dropping anchor in the spirit world or whatever. Oh, Rosalini are a lore sheet bloodline for Kindred in V5 at the moment. That's weird. Rosalini, by tradition, are a 
uh, Revenant family. I guess there are now some actual mm. vampires. Um, there, it, it depends, right? Because all, all at one point, all Hakata families have had members turn towards vampirism, no matter what. You just need to catch the right person's eye. So it makes sense that there'd be a Rosalini or two in the lineage. Yeah. Probably more powerful, um, though. Yeah. And she has some hedge magic involved, um, thaumaturgy, etc. But, like, it's mostly just oblivion and oblivion rituals. And then Fates is like, I want my own murdery font of energy. I gotta make one. Fates definitely has more entropy, which I think you'll have caught on to. But... What is Pilkin's whole, whole deal? Oh, yeah. You do, who bloody knows? Oh, uh, I can't tell you too much in case that gets followed up, but as far as you're aware, he was genuinely a son of the ether person who was trying to reunite um, some of the disparate mages with the technocracy with a view to having a better London, maybe? Disparate okay, to the... the, the um... I, I mean, disparate with a not capital D, like yeah, yeah. the fractured traditions. Um... That's as far as you are aware and as far as I can tell you. There might be more depth to it. There probably is, because it's all counter-espionage and stuff. Yeah, it's just like, Hackett just wanted to know that the guy actually, like, you know, believed in Ether. Because, like, otherwise, what the hell has he been taught? This guy's been... if Like, if Pilkin taught him all about Ether while not even believing in it himself, that would be a bit devastating. But if oh, he was like, actually son of Ether, yeah. Yeah, but if he's like, no, Ether's a thing, and we're going to make the technocracy understand and integrate our worlds together, then Hackett will be like... All right, I see. I mean, they were integrated, and then you know, they when then they weren't. Maybe we can integrate them again. Katie went. I did because yeah. I feel like Thresher, if I survived that fight, might go into full training mode to learn more about entropy mm -hmm. and try to. It just made me think of the mentor thing. If like you want to just... know more about entropy, Fates is very good at entropy. If you want to know more about spirit, <laughs> Rosalina can help a little bit with spirit, but she is not going to be the same pattern as you. I just wonder if, if like, I would have gone back to Fates and pretended to be like, oh my gosh, I got to do all this, but I had undone the spell. But I don't think, I think he would know. Mm -hmm. And I think it's Maybe. too risky to go back. And... Maybe. I don't know. That depends on if you speak to Rosalini or not, because Rosalini was the one who set you on the path to destroying the spell and realizing it was there. I feel like she she would want to start another clinic and maybe do it to, to kind of draw away from there. Um, but I don't know if she would do it in that manipulative way of being like, I'm friends with Rosalini and Dr. Fate still, and that I would still try to manipulate them to use them to my advantage to, oh in my attempts to... I mean, you could try. Rosalini is pretty tough to be what a mess i know but she can't be me okay she just can't <laughs> oh stronger or less strong than the spirit was by the end than voyager uh, was i would have said in a right out fight her spirits were gonna be a weakness if anything against rosalini so i would have probably put money on the entity versus her just because her spirits could be negated Mm -hmm. She's a powerful mm -hmm. influence on the spirit world, but then the Vo Voyager is from the deepest, darkest depths of the spirit world. Yeah. And, so I guess yeah. one of the things that I think about this, or Thresher does, is that maybe I need to befriend Rosalini and see and get a feel for what Rosalini's ultimate goal is. Okay. And see if I can work with her to take down Dr. Fates. I can tell you that, like... If there is any of any follow-up, it will be a few years down the road kind of thing. So I can tell you that if you do do that, it will become quite plain that she has tired to an extent of Dr. Fates. You don't know, she won't let you know the, the extent of it, but like she's tired of the attention. She's tired of the, you know, the, the cheap imitations. And she's like, yeah, you should find yourself. I knew it. That I could tell that I hit a nerve. Eh. Not really. There She's was, had a lot of years, a... but... Fine. You know what? Like, I'm going to take It's a pretty that. good jab. It's an attempt. She'd give you points for it. But oh. yeah, that's why she put you on a path to realize there was a spell so that you can negate the spell by pointing it out. Effectively, okay. she's she doesn't have points in entropy. She can't have points in entropy. But she knows enough about entropy to be like, if I just poke you, I know which direction this is going to go. 
I wish I had thought of this. I probably would write a second book at some point about uh, finding yourself. And there's a whole, like, a whole new trying to uh, get past. Though I do feel like there's still a lot of trauma and stuff attached to it. I think there's a lot more complicated things just to be like, I moved to Tahiti and I write many more best-selling books. Like, I probably am struggling daily with the past and... I mean, to an extent, she can teach you much more about the euthanoid than he can because she, you know, Mindy was a good death. She didn't need to deserve to die in of herself, but it was a death that was warranted. At least New mentor way. hype. Unfortunately, she can't be a mentor in the same way, but she would count for the purposes of some. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I guess we'll call this here. Thank you very much, everyone. You've been wonderful. I would spend so much more time with you. Uh, what kind of spirit was in uh, Voyager? A uh, spirit from the Deep Umbra. So, one of the uncategorized. Yeah. Uncategorized. It, it could be anything. It could be whatever. It's oh, well, effectively it's the was disc became sentient. That, okay, was it the disc just gained a spirit, or a spirit went into the disc and basically created its identity around it? Mostly the former. When people believe okay. about something, it's not as pinned down in the Deep Umbra, and as soon as Voyager crossed in, the Voyager probes, because there was a lot of people thinking about them and stuff, it and became like... a thing. And it was like, what is my purpose? My purpose is to explore, discover, etc. I need to report back. Mm. I need to explore Earth. Yeah. No, it it's got, like, we never got, got to have this scene in the show yeah. in the end, but everyone go look up, like, the contents of the Voyager Golden Record, and specifically go to messages in various languages because it just says greetings and you think oh it's just hello in like 70 languages no 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 they are specific and they say certain specific things and consider how a spirit who's making his identity out of those things might respond and it's kind of like what happened so yeah we had a moment off the show where we read through the things and it's like oh no oh no oh no they said that to it and yeah it, it's yeah. just a fun thing to read and be like oh we're idiots what have we done yeah. yeah. Lots of telling it to come back home and, and get everything. Bring, yep. bring peace. Mm, yeah, yeah. Bring also, to us also the peace. Bring peace. Yep. And suddenly it's Ultron. Yep. Pretty much. Right, we, we can have anyway. done. <laughs> Thank you, EE, for storytelling us through this. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score